This is the Kodiak 900, an aircraft that represents a monumental shift from the Kodiak 100, and that is described by the company as a luxury SUV for the air. With a new PT6 series power plant from Pratt & Whitney, a streamlined cargo pod, the Garmin G1000 NXi up front, and a bigger cabin, the Kodiak 900 takes the series forward into a profile that not only can maintain its milestone of range, and endurance, but also post a maximum cruise speed of 210 knots. Today we're going inside the Kodiak 900 to talk about everything you need to know about this aircraft. Inside, the Kodiak 900 sits higher in the rear than the Kodiak 100, so a complete redesign of the rear main cargo door was made. Additional steps create an easier entry and exit point for passengers, while also helping to load cargo. The plane can seat nine people, including a pilot and eight passengers, and comes well equipped with six passenger seats, de-icing capabilities, air conditioning, and supplemental oxygen, among other features. However, the new model comfortably accommodates a double club cabin configuration or up to 12 people in a commuter setup in countries where that may be carried in an aircraft in this category. 10 seats are the maximum allowed in the United States. Buyers can expect a modern cabin, the 900 is 37 inches or 94 centimeters longer than its predecessors, which translates into a larger cabin with more internal comfort. The company installed airframe plugs just aft of the flight deck and just ahead of the empennage to increase cabin volume. While longer, the fuselage is the same width and height as the original model. Taking a nod from the luxurious TBM line, each seat is reclining and has dual armrests, car-style seatbelts, headrest, and includes a Limo aircraft-powered headset jacks, conventional headset jacks, two USB ports, a phone holder, and a cup holder. Overhead, each has a Gasper air vent with a light. Cargo tie-downs are embedded in the floor, walls, and ceiling throughout, providing lots of flexibility for hauling gear. The seats have been specially designed to be easily removed or added to the aircraft depending on need. For example, if an operator wants more cargo space, they can remove the seats using two simple latches. Or, the seats can be adjusted to face each other so business passengers can talk while flying. They can also all face forward in a commuter configuration. The seats can be positioned in multiple directions. Upgraded ventilation, heating and cooling system were also added to the 900 since the plane can climb to 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters despite having a non-pressurized cabin. Kodiak added sound dampening to the cabin. A five-blade propeller is built with new composites that allow it to operate at lower RPM so it runs with less noise and vibration. This plane can fly all over the world, even in Germany, where the noise pollution laws are incredibly strict and will pass anyone's standards, says Brown. The cockpit layout has been redesigned with ergonomics in mind and is customizable. Garmin's G1000 NXI displays and newly relocated GFC 700 Autopilot make for easier and more intuitive flying. Kodiak has also added safety features like wire air and 3D audio to increase the pilot's situational awareness. The most important improvement on the Kodiak 900 is modern safety. Specifically, the cockpit has a synthetic vision system that displays a topographic map to pilots, which is useful when flying in the dark or through clouds. There is a giant mountain in front of you that you can't physically see with your eyes. You can actually see it on the Garmin screens in the cockpit. So it's like eyes outside, Brown said. Moreover, the plane's innovative, discontinuous leading edge wing design helps pilots better control the aircraft and avoid stalls and spins. Brown said the plane is good from a pilot's perspective because it's safe and efficient. The plane is extraordinarily stable and can fly at extremely low speeds for an aircraft of its size, he said. It's nice on the controls, easy to fly, and reliability is unmatched. The Kodiak 900 has an external cargo compartment in the belly of the plane. The cargo pod is the same volume as the optional one on the Kodiak 100 but bays two and three are open to one another, allowing for hauling of larger pieces of gear. The rear exterior cargo pod and internal space offer the ability to haul heavy loads onto short, narrow runways. 
A rear hatch flips down so operators can easily load long items like lumber, fishing poles, skis, and snowboards, adding to the plane's versatility. As the next generation, the 900's upgrades lift it into a new category. The PT6A-140A represents the first new engine for the Kodiak since it was originally delivered with the PT6A-34. The single prop engine saw a bump in horsepower from 750 by using a 900 horsepower Pratt & Whitney PT6A-140 that delivers a cruise speed of 210 knots. The prop in question? A five blade Hartzell composite propeller whose design is borrowed from the TBM series and it spins at a lower RPM so we can get the noise down, Chabert said. The extra 150 nominal horsepower is available throughout the Kodiak 900's operational range at temperatures up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. This capability directly addresses the airplane's regular use into hot and high conditions, hot temperatures and high altitude airports and backcountry locations. And with the prop engine combination, the 900's TBO is 4,000 flight hours with an on-condition hot section inspection program. Endurance is also a hallmark of the new Kodiak. At the top speed of 210 knots at 12,000 feet or 3,660 meters, hourly fuel consumption is 58 or 228 liters. Yielding 969 nautical miles or 1,795 kilometers over 4.3 hours with a 45 minute fuel reserve while at its maximum range cruise speed of 156 knots. Hourly fuel consumption is 36 gallons or 136 liters, yielding a maximum range of 1,129 nautical miles or 2,090 kilometers over 6.8 hours. At its max endurance speed of 102 knots, the 900 has a maximum flight time of 9.2 hours. Chabert notes that the new 140A provides a good 5% efficiency over the previous PT-6A in the Kodiak. The 900 is also the first Kodiak to feature single point refueling and Chabert said it's already proven useful. It's extremely handy and on our flight over to Oshkosh we stopped at one place where it was absolutely essential that we had the single point of refueling feature on the aircraft, he remarks. The plane has takeoff distance ground roll of 1,105 feet or 309 meters, a maximum rate of climb of 1,724 feet or 525 meters per minute, and a minimum landing distance ground roll of 1,460 feet or 445 meters, all while maintaining a useful load of 3,630 pounds or 1,647 kilograms. The plane will only cost companies an estimated $300 to $400 per hour, mostly because of its 9% lower fuel consumption compared to competitors. Brown also explains the overbuilt plane is strong with reduced maintenance cost. Combining this with lower fuel consumption means that there is more profit opportunity for operators. Moreover, the Kodiak 900 is unpressurized, unlike the PC-12. The plane's cruising sweet spot is 10,000 to 12,000 feet or 3,050 to 3,660 meters, so passengers would still feel comfortable. However, the aircraft can fly up to 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters and has supplemental oxygen for those flights. According to Brown, the unpressurized cabin makes the plane less complex, reduces metal fatigue, and lowers its overall operating cost. Brown says the aircraft can land on sand and gravel without worrying about debris getting stuck in the wheel pants, which was rigorously tested by the company and Federal Aviation Administration. The base purchase price of the new Kodiak 900 is $3.5 million before options, and the charter price ranges between $1,500 and $2,300 per hour, judging from the previous Kodiak 100. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the total fixed cost is roughly $150,000 to $200,000 per year, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $300 to $400 per hour. Thank you for staying with us to the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.